Hello and welcome to Value Chain TV News Update. I am Kabir Lowell with the news. And on the Value Chain TV News Update, we start with Energy, where managing partner of Tenno Energy Resources, Dr. Efiom Timothy Okong, has identified irresponsible utilization of petroleum products as Nigerian setback on maximizing the rich world of petroleum sector to reach sustainable development. Dr. Oko said this during the 13th Emmanuel Eboga Legacy Lecture Series, which took place at the Emerald Auditorium of the Port Harcourt University. While delivering a keynote speech on utilizing petroleum wealth for sustainable development, Oko noted that sustainable development is one that meets present needs without compromising the ability of the future. He noted that there has always been connection between discovery of petroleum wealth with society, economy, and environment. Moving on to business news, Angote Refinery has debunked claims by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NNPCL that the firm sold fuel to the company at 898 Naira per liter. This was contained in a statement from the group chief branding and communications officer at Angote Refinery, Anthony Chijeni. This is coming as NNPC Limited began loading fuel at the refinery located in Ibejuleki area of Lagos. The announcement was met with disapproval and uncertainty as per the future of fuel pricing. Nangote Refinery urged Nigerians to disregard the information and wait for a formal announcement on the pricing by the Technical Subcommittee on Nera based crude sales to local refineries appointed by His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The firm noted that petroleum products were sold at NNPC in dollars and assured of petroleum availability across the country including local government area of the country regardless of their remote nature. Still other value chain TV news updates. The federal government has commenced the distribution of compressed natural gas CNG conversion kits nationwide. The move, it said, was part of effort by the government to fast track the change from petrol and diesel powered vehicles. Chat Moses completes the report. Programs director of the Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative PCNGI, Michael Oluhagbemi, said a total of 1,200 to 1,300 will be distributed in five cities. He said this while addressing journalists at a breast briefing in Abuja, where he noted that 50 kits each will be distributed across 18 centers in the country, with 200 kits to be added later. The conversion centers in the FCT are Nipko Oil and Gas Station, Airport Road, Kia Motors at Utako, Mijo Gas Auto in Jahi, ABGCNG, Kubwa, Bova's Filling Station, Wuse Zone 5, and C&L Mart Energy Solutions Limited at Lokogoma. The program director further explained that a total of 6,000 to 7,000 kids have been distributed to conversion centers, with an additional 12,000 kids in the next 30 days, 18,000 by the end of the year, and 200,000 kids before the end of the first quarter of 2025. Olu Agbemi further said that the government has signed agreement with over 75 conversion partners officially in eight states, including Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Edo, Delta, Kogi, and Kaduna State. For Value Chain TV, Chat Moses reporting. Away from that, the Nigerian Correctional Service, NCOs, has reported that 274 inmates were missing after floods destroyed walls of the Medium Security Custodial Center, MSCC, in Meduguri. This was disclosed in a statement by NCO spokesman Umar Abubakar while providing an update on the situation. The service also confirmed that seven inmates have been recaptured and returned to custody while efforts are ongoing to locate and bring back the remaining escapees. The International Labour Organization has tasked global leaders to make full use of social protection to mitigate adverse impact of climate change. According to ILO, social protection plays a key role in countering climate change, but countries must be impacted by climate crisis at least prepared. The ILO said governments are failing to make full use of powerful potential of social protection to counter the effect of the climate crisis and support a just transition. And on the international scene, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, is investigating what appears to be a second assassination attempt on former U.S. President Donald Trump, who is seeking re-election in the upcoming November polls. 
The incident occurred at Trump's international golf course near his Malago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida. Circuit service agent opened fire at, after spotting a person with firearm near the property line. The suspect, identified as Ryan Wesley Ralph, was found with an AK-47 rifle equipped with a scope, a G-Pro camera, two backpacks containing ceramic tiles. And finally, in sport, Victor Osime made a sensational debut for Galatasaray, scoring goal and setting a real record in Turkish Super League. The 25-year-old forward, who joined Galatasaray on loan from Napoli, showcased his skills in the match against Rispro. Galatasaray manager Okan Buruk expressed optimism for Osime's performance, highlighting his potential impact on the team. Osime's quick adaptation and goal-scoring ability were evident drawing praise from fans and analysts as his performance has set high expectation for his time with Galatasaray. And with that, we conclude the Valuation TV News update. I am Kabir Lewal. Thanks for watching.